Hello! I am so glad that you are here to worship God with me. Something has changed. A lot has changed, actually. In fact, everything has changed. Everything is different. Do you notice the differences? This is a very special time. We are now in the time of the color purple. We are in the time of the color purple this whole season, the season of Lent. Lent is a time for getting ready for preparation. So I have a very important question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready to enter into worship today? Are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to listen for what God is telling you? Are you ready to change so that everything changes and that you are more and more like Jesus? It's a big question. Are you ready? If you are ready, then I will say, the Lord be with you. I love it when you say, and also with you. That way we are coming close to each other and we are coming close to God together. You know that we are here to worship God and to listen for God's voice. And we are here to speak to God. Talking to God, called prayer, can take lots of different forms. We can do that in so many different ways and wherever we are. But let's do that with our singing voices today. Father, we adore you and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. Spirit, we adore you and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. That was beautiful singing. You see that I have my calendar here and you know where we are in our calendar year. We are in the time of the color purple. This is the very first week of the time of the color purple. It goes on for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. Six weeks of getting ready for Easter. Easter is such a special time, a time that changes absolutely everything. And we need to get ready to enter into that time. So we have six whole weeks to do that. And this is the first week. In our classes together, we spend this time talking about Jesus. We're always talking about Jesus. But during this time, we are going to focus on Jesus's life, how Jesus came to be God with us, to rescue us, the things that Jesus did and the people that Jesus met. Because every time people meet Jesus, they change. They are completely different, completely different. And we are going to be looking at all of those stories, stories of complete change and transformation of rescue, of healing, of justice, of hope, all of those things that Jesus brings us and that a life with Jesus promises us and that a life with Jesus calls us to do. It's big work, amazing stories, and I hope that you are ready. So we are going to start at the very beginning of Jesus's life with a very important story. Are you ready? Now, this is a little bit surprising. We are in the time of the color purple, <coughs> but this is a different color. 
you know what? Maybe this special color is trying to tell us something else about this story. I wonder what it could be. This special time, the time of the color purple, is the time when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus came to be God with us, to be the Christ, the light of the whole world, and to rescue us. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph took baby Jesus to Jerusalem to present baby Jesus to God at the temple. Now, many, many years before this, God had promised to send a special child called the Christ. Many, many years people waited for this special gift, the gift of the Christ child who would be the light of the world, who would save them, who would rescue them. People would go to the temple and pray and ask God, please send this special child, the Christ, to rescue us. One of the people who was praying, one of the people who was waiting, was named Simeon. God had promised Simeon that Simeon would not die before he saw the Christ child. And so Simeon was waiting, but he was very old. He had waited a long time. How long will I have to wait? But Simeon believed in God's promises. One day, the Holy Spirit came so close to Simeon that he knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted him to go to the temple that day, and so he went. It was the same day that Mary and Joseph were going to the temple to present Jesus to God. When Simeon saw baby Jesus, he knew right away that this was the Christ child, the light of the world, the one who had come to rescue them. Simeon took the baby Jesus in his arms. He was so happy and he prayed to God, thank you. Now you are sending me in peace. My eyes have seen the Christ child, the one who will rescue us, the one we have been waiting for, the light for the whole world. There was someone else at the temple, but it wasn't surprising that this person was at the temple because this person was always at the temple. There was a prophet named Anna who was always at the temple. She never left. She stayed there and prayed to God night and day. She fasted and she prayed and she worshiped God always at the temple. So she saw Jesus too. And she knew right away who he was and she thanked God Thank you, God, you have sent the Christ child, the promised one, just as you said you would. He's here. 
We've been waiting so long. Here is the one who will rescue us. When Anna saw the Christ child, she went and told everyone, he's here, the one we've been waiting for, the Christ child, he's come. He's here, he's come to rescue us, the one we have been waiting for, the one we were praying for. He came, he's here. Come everyone and see. Praise God, he has come. He is the Christ child. He's here, the one we have been waiting for. Jesus, the Christ, the light of the world. Now I wonder, which part of this story you like the best? What is your favorite part? Which part of this story is the most important? What is most important in this story? I wonder where you are in this story or what tells something about you, what you would be doing or what you are doing. Well, what's going on in your life? Where are you in this story? I wonder if there's any part of this story that we could take away, but still have all the story that we need. Is there anything we don't need? Let's pray to God. God, thank you for making and keeping your promises. We know we can trust in you. We know that sometimes it's hard to wait and wait and wait, but we know we can always trust that you will keep your promises, even when it's surprising. Thank you for sending Jesus to be God with us and rescue us. We need you to save us. God, you are so... God, thank you for... God, please... Jesus, you are the Christ, the promised one, the one who has come to rescue us. You taught us so many things. You showed us how to live, how to love, how to pray. We want to say your prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope you liked the story for today. You can find it in the Bible in Luke 2, verses 22 through 38. Luke 2 has wonderful, wonderful stories about the beginning of Jesus's life. I hope you will enjoy reading it. And this particular story is from Following Jesus by Sonia Stewart. It's called Baby Jesus is Presented at the Temple. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meantime, I will ask God's blessing on you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you 
and give you peace, and give you peace, and give you peace forever. God bless you. Bye-bye.